Let's take a look at one more very important topic and that is test hooks. In basically all the test frameworks you are able to run some code before and after the test and playwright is no different. So let me show you a great example of test hooks in practice. So we have these two tests, one for screenshots and one for single element screenshots. And if you take a look, they both are using the page that go to and they load the same website. So we can simplify the code by simply use test that before hook. So let me show you. But first, let's group them into one describe. So test that describe. Let's say hooks. And paste the test here. And let's remove the only from here. And we can also put it here at the describe. So you can have a combination of test that describe that only. And let me just take a look if there is no more test that only. And it's okay. So we can move on. And now if you want to create a before hook, you can simply go down here and write test dot. And you can see it already gives us an option of before all and before each. So before all is a hook which runs only once before all the tests in the suite start and before each will run before each of these specific tests in the suite. So we want to use before each. Here again async function, we want to use page. And here we want to use the await.page.go to and save it. And now we can just remove it or just comment it out from these two tests. And that's it. Similarly to before each, you can also do after. So we can run test that after. And we have also the after all and after each. So they both work in the same way as before. Uh, after all will be run after all the tests will finish. And after each will run after all of these tests. But in this case, we don't need to use after all. Just, you know, you can use it if you want, but it's not important for this case. All we want to just load the website before each of these tests. So we can now try to run it. So let's run mpx playwright test. We can use the config and project. So let's use Firefox and hit enter. And as you can see, both our tests are still passing. And in this way, you can basically simplify a lot of stuff. For example, if you have a lot of tests with a repetitive stuff like, like login, you can put the login here into the before each and then focus only on the test. And each of the tests will basically use the same login. And these hooks are very important because they can help you have your code more clean and organized. So feel free to use it if you want to. It's a very good topic. And I think that's all. It's not that complicated, so we can move to the next lesson.